how to build a barber shop. This is how we built Compound Cut Club, a team of 10 great barbers in Edmonton, Alberta. Run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. If you're new to the channel guys, welcome. My name is Alec Barbero. I've been a barber for about five years now and three years into my career, I opened up my own barber shop. So if you want to keep up with the journey, consider subscribing down below. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how I created my team, how everyone kind of got together and started working in my barber shop, Compound Cut Club, how I met with my business partner, how we built into this big team that we have now. So real quick guys, this is my barber shop right here. So Jules is my business partner. Backstory, we have to go back to 2016. I actually just started out as his client. I was told by a friend of mine to get my haircuts by him. The first time I got a haircut by him, I was already cutting hair. I've, al I've only cut around like 10 people. So I told him right from the start, I want to be a barber. Um, I asked him a bunch of questions. What trimmers should I get? So at the time, I didn't even have trimmers. And yeah, I started off as his client. And then about three, four months later, the barbershop he was working at was looking for a barber to work temporarily as one of the barbers were going on vacation so that's when i started working with them as his apprentice with blue as well so that's me and then with blue so me and blue started working at the barber shop and then so me jules and blue are the ogs also greasy cuts were there but greasy moved to bc if he was still in edmonton he would be working in compound as well greasy is habish He's a great barber. He was already working with Jules. So yeah. And then Mama Fade started working there about probably like a year after we started working there. We just met through a barber competition and Jules hit her up to come come work at, com at um, that barbershop Northside. So it was us four in that one barbershop. So when we opened up our own, us four were the foundation. Okay, so we opened the Compound Cut Club. And then Arthur, aka Bread Boy, back when I was still cutting for free in my basement, I already met Arthur, but we didn't work together until I opened up Compound. He's not part of the OGs, but he is an OG client. Just like how I was a client to Jules, he was a client to me. And some people don't know this actually, but I was the one who inspired him to be a barber. I was cutting hair for free and he was just asking random questions like, why would you even do this? Um, what makes you want to cut hair? This and that. I was just like, I just do it because it's fun. And then he was like, oh damn, let me try it too. And then maybe I'll have fun with it too and he did so yeah i gave him his first pair of clippers he was right from the start he was already good i i seen the vision um obviously he was getting a lot of haircuts so i knew he knows what a good haircut looks like and he knows how to get there so arthur was working at a different barbershop when we opened compound but he was always been my client like he was or he was always coming to me for haircuts even though he worked at a different barbershop so i guess he really liked my haircuts that's how we stayed connected so being a good barber is important to build a team if barbers are getting haircuts from you that says something um you know they they admire your work and that's why they're gonna be working for you because they don't want to work for someone that's you know whack they don't want to work for a barber that's not better than them i or they're not gonna work for a barber that they wouldn't even get a haircut from so yeah just be a skilled barber um it's better to be a skilled barber than to be a whack barber let's just say that when it comes to building a team so arthur the way he started working at compound was he just came in one day when we were almost done construction and then he just fell in love with the place he literally said right there that's my station he called the station right away I think even before Blue and Ma got there. So he's part of um, opening. He was part of pretty much the first people. Like literally, I didn't even ask him to come work. He was just like, yo, that's my spot. <laughs> so he pretty much hired himself. And then Cam's was in school when we opened up Compound. But we always knew her from uh, mutual friends. Um, I knew her before she even started hair school, just from clients. And then, yeah. We noticed how she's only in hair school, but she's already really good. We saw a potential talent. So me and Jules hit her up. We're like, oh, they even have a salon or a spot to work at yet. She didn't, but a lot of our clientele knew her. Uh, a lot of our clientele's girlfriends knew her. So it, it, it just made sense. Yeah, we just asked her to come uh, try it out, come work for us, come work with us at Compound. And yeah, so she probably started a few months after we opened. So she's part of um, the OG fam. Um, yeah, we had 10 seats 
So right now, there's six of us now. Probably around, we opened 2019 August and September was when she started around there. She was still in school too, so she had to do part-time at first. But yeah, definitely we just recognized talent right from the start. And then next person we hired was Paolo. So Paolo was always been a client of ours. I was cutting him in my basement. Jules was cutting him at the shop, barbershop, even Blue. I think when he was cutting his friend's hair, it was just for free. And then one day, Blue told him to start charging and then he did. Um, but like the way we hired him was, I couldn't tell he was good at cutting just because of the way he held his clippers and the way he flicks the fades were not like good yet i was like damn this guy just needs a little bit of training and he's gonna be all good because he had the flick he had the he had the vision he just doesn't know how to connect everything yet so i just told him just come for some trainings i taught him how to section and all this and that on a mannequin we don't really have the traditional way of hiring people we just kind of tell him come come for a training see how it goes from there so i was just teaching him for free like i don't charge for it um we kind of just do favors and you know i saw the potential and i was like yo bro just start cutting hair <laughs> just start cutting hair here and he was like yeah sure so he was cutting for a while but he never took it seriously compound was just a perfect place for him to you know be more professional about it and actually look at it as a career and yeah we probably hired him um december he started coming in november for training and then hired him in december 2019 and then hectic cuts he's actually not a comp compound anymore now i'm making this may 15 2021 but yeah he still worked at compound for a good year and a bit um the way we hired him was the same as Arthur, he kind of just came in and was like, yo, I'm working here now. Um, he knew we had a spot and he liked the vibe. Um, he's always been a barber homie of ours. Just from like barber competitions, barber meets, he always came to get haircuts by us too. And yeah, the way we hired him was just through being good barbers, being um, being that guy the barbers want to go to. Um, it's something like, yeah, one day he literally just came and was like, yo, bro, I want to work here too. And we were like, okay, go ahead, man. And then started bringing his clients in obviously if someone has a clientele already um if someone's our friend we're not gonna say no pretty much if it makes sense we just take him into the team we're just pretty open family if you're willing to work hard this is a place for you and then um the way we hired fifi was after the first lockdown uh i don't know if i can save too much details but she was working at a place already but then um things didn't work out there so she was looking for a place where she can start cutting after the lockdown. So she was connected through Cam Camille, but she, she always followed Compound or she always followed me. I don't know if she followed anyone else, but I was like, yeah, just come in for some shadowing. I can teach you some men's cuts. But she also knew how to do women's hair, blonding and all that. She also knows how to do perms, women's cuts. So she's just a well diverse hairstylist slash barber. But yeah, she wanted to just learn more of the fadings so i told her to just come in and see if she'll like it and then yeah she was open to working at compound so we set up an interview and all this she's probably like the most um actual what do you call it like we actually did a hiring process for her that's probably like the first ones just because she's coming from a salon and yeah she's, it's a bit more professional we actually did a interview and this and that but she was coming for trainings beforehand so yeah fifi started just last year um um, she's she's doing more blonding services now but she was she's still a barber her barbering skills definitely improved but yeah we connected through social media also her brother is a friend of ours so yeah um we know her through her family but yeah pretty much we just give value to people and through training her she she wanted to try it out and work here at compound so yeah just i guess doing a good deed gives you access to you know people that are good and are willing to work and yeah that's that was the case with fifi i guess okay pat the barber so the way um we hired pat the barber was this guy's super young he's only like 20 he was west side i've always known about him through some clients that knew him so i was always following him from the start from social media we hired him through he applied because uh, my mom knew his mom 
and he wasn't happy at the place he was working at. My um, his mom told my mom I was like, oh, we'll just set up a set up a meeting or whatever. So he just came into the shop. I met up with him. Seems like you know I liked him from the start. He was a cool guy. Seems like he works hard for his age. And yeah, definitely he's always providing value in compound. And yeah, I saw that I saw that he would be good. And we just took the chance. One day he came for uh, almost like a tryout. He came and cut his friend. The cut was fresh. The skills he was watching me for a bit too bro i literally taught him a method one day and then he actually did it the next day and he was like yo your method saved me like five ten minutes right away so i just knew he's someone that's willing to learn and actually put him what he learned into his working routine like he actually uses what he learns sort of guy then yeah always knew him from instagram one day he just needed a place to work at and then we took the chance in him and i'm super happy with um having him on the team he's definitely gonna be there for a while he's my guy bro um fun to be working with and yeah take the chance man and then last but not least joe the barber probably the youngest guy on the team he's always been a client too with me and jules i remember cutting him in the basement and jules was cutting him at the barber shop um one day jules hit him up said said yo if you want to come work for a barber shop come uh, come through and then yeah pretty much we saw him improve through social media and then jules just hit him up when he, we saw that he was already getting better and then he has big potential on taking care of some of our walk-ins some of our clients he's definitely good enough um, to take care of our clients so yeah same thing pretty much he was always he was always been a barber and barber that we knew from the start he was our clients he would come in and shadow a lot he would uh just watch and improve his craft so pretty much the same as the other guys connected through social media social media is super strong now as we stay connected through online without even needing to meet people and yeah we're taking the chance in josiah and he has lived up to the hype so pretty much that's us there's 11 of us another member of the team that people don't know about is our bookkeeper slash you know um, assistant coach he does everything paperwork team managing and all this patrick vin he's the guy he's the guy in the back here he's this guy in the back that's our bookkeeper slash assistant but yeah um he's julius childhood friend they literally grew up together and he's in school for business and he knows how to do all of that back back end stuff um i think he's super important in the team he makes sure that everyone gets paid he makes sure that um, everything runs smooth so yeah that's how we built compound cut club that was a bit longer video but i guess um at least where at least you guys know the backstory of compound cut club that's how we built the team guys if you're trying to so yeah guys that's it for today's video that was a bit long and i'll see you guys in the next video